Now let's talk about the tangent ratio for angles that are greater than 90 degrees. It should be pretty easy to see that if you start here and rotate around to some angle that's greater than 90 degrees, you end up in the second quadrant. And if you have an angle here, that, that angle is this much rotation. And so you end up at a point, a point over here that has some x and y values. And you should be able to see that x is negative. Going this way, x is negative, and the y value is still positive. So the tangent ratio, which is y over x, is going to be negative because it's going to be a positive number divided by a negative number. So the tangent ratio anywhere in the second quadrant should be negative. And a quick example, what's drawn here is a 117 degree angle. Theta right here is accurately drawn at 117 degrees. And I'll give you the x and y coordinates there. Y at that at that point right here y is 0.891 and x is negative 0.454 so if we calculate the tangent of theta we have 0.891 over negative 0.454 and clearly that's going to be a negative number because of that negative sign right there and it comes out to negative 1.963 and if we do that on the calculator that's what we should get the tangent of 117 degrees they're negative 1.963 if we if we round that to three decimal places we get negative 1.963 and these numbers here were given to three decimal places accuracy so the point here is that in the second quadrant here tangent should be negative and you should understand why now think about a 180 degree angle we start here and we rotate halfway around the circle we end up right there on the opposite side so what's the value of the tangent the tangent right there well at this point that's the point negative one comma zero so x in other words is negative one and y is zero so obviously y over x if you put a zero in the numerator we have a negative one down there but it doesn't really matter with the zero in the numerator we get zero so the tangent of 180 degrees is equal to zero now don't just memorize that fact I want you to understand why if you look at this picture you should see that that has to be the case and if we do the tangent of 180 the calculator will of course say zero and if we move all the way around into the third quadrant we end up at a point down here some point has an x and y value and in the third quadrant the x value and the y value are both negative so if we do this calculation y over x we have a negative number divided by a negative number and the tangent will be positive so anywhere in the third quadrant that reasoning will apply anywhere in the third quadrant the tangent should be positive for example here's a diagram showing a 231 degree angle so if we start here and rotate around we rotate through 231 degrees of rotation and that puts us out here at this point and I'll give you the X and Y values X here is negative 0.777 and Y is negative 0.629 and so you can see the tangent of theta if we just divide Y over X we're dividing a negative number negative 0.629 over a negative number which will of course be positive and that comes out to 1.235 when we do this division we get this number and so on the calculator if we put in the tangent of this angle and again uh, that's that's drawn at 231 degrees theta there it's 231 degrees if we put in 231 degrees on the calculator we should get the same number so tangent of 231 and sure enough 1.235 now let's imagine rotating around 270 degrees so we come all the way around to right there three quarters of a circle and we end up here so you can think of this much rotation 270 degrees of rotation well think about that point x is equal to 0 and y is equal to negative 1 that is the point 0 comma negative 1 so if we calculate the tangent ratio y over x we're doing negative 1 over 0 and we can't do this we can't divide by 0 
the tangent is undefined at that point. You could say the tangent has a value of infinity at that point, because dividing by something infinitely small gives you something infinitely large, although it's a little unclear whether it should be positive or negative infinity at that point. The point here is you can't calculate a value for the tangent at that point. And if we look at the calculator, watch this, tangent of 270, error, domain. The domain of a function is all the values that we can put in for that function. So if I say, if I try to put in 270, that doesn't work. I can't put in 270 degrees to the tangent function. And so again, you should know that the tangent function has no value at 270 degrees. You can't calculate the tangent of a 270 degree angle. But don't simply memorize that fact, understand why. And this is why. Tangent is y over x, and at that point, x is 0. So you literally can't do this calculation at that angle. Okay, now let's imagine going all the way around the circle into the fourth quadrant. So we come over here somewhere into the fourth quadrant. We end up perhaps here. And of course we have a point that has an x and a y value, and it's easy to see that the x value here will be positive, and the y value there will be negative. So the tangent of that angle, y over x, is going to be a negative number divided by a positive number. And it will be, therefore, negative. So the tangent of an angle anywhere in the fourth quadrant will be negative. And as an example, here's a picture where theta is accurately drawn at 322 degrees. And that gets us around to this point right here. And I'll give you the x and y values there. x is negative, x is positive 0.788, and y is negative 0.616. So the tangent of theta, by definition, is y over x. So that's negative 0.616 over positive 0.788, which of course comes out to be a negative number, and in this case it's negative 0.782. And again, we can check that on the calculator. The tangent of 322 degrees gives us negative 0.781. Okay, note there's a little bit of error right there. On the calculator, we got negative 0.781. This is not an error. Uh, this is just a difference in rounding in these two numbers. And this one is, in fact, more accurate in this case. These numbers were rounded, and we accumulated a little bit of rounding error that showed up here. And last of all, let's imagine going all the way around the circle. 360 degrees. That, of course, gets us right back to where we started. And that is the point, 1, 0. So x is equal to 1, and y is equal to 0. So the tangent would be y over x. That would, of course, be 0. And on the calculator, the tangent of 360 degrees, it better say 0, and it does. OK, so with these ideas in mind, you should be able to quickly find the tangent of certain angles. Right here, the tangent should be 0. And the same thing right there, it should be 0. And it's undefined at 90 degrees and down here at 270 degrees. And then it's also easy to calculate the tangent function uh, right here at a 45 degree angle. Okay, You should understand that at a 45 degree angle, these are going to be the same. The y value and the x value are going to be the same. And you might not know what number that is. It turns out that that number is 0 0.707, the, the square root of 2 over 2. But even if you don't know that, it should be pretty clear to you that with the 45 degree angle right there, those sides will be the same. So the tangent function, which will be y over x, will have to be 1. So the tangent right there is equal to 1. And if we come over here to 45 degrees in the second quadrant, that's really a rotation of 135 degrees. But we think of this angle as being 45. So splitting the second quadrant in half, you should see that the tangent right there is negative 1 because tangent is y over x, and y here is the same length as the x, but one of those is negative. The x right there is negative. And then down here, splitting the uh, third quadrant in half,
that angle is uh, what is that? That's 225. But again, think of this 45 degree angle. The tangent down here will be positive one. This length and this length are the same if you're at that angle or that point on the unit circle, and they're both negative. So doing y over x gives you negative over a negative, so it's positive. And if they're the same, it has to equal one. And then right down here, splitting the fourth quadrant in half. That's a, a rotation of 315, and the tangent function right there will be negative 1 again. Okay, and those ideas should make sense. And again, I, I don't want you to just I don't want you to just memorize the tangent, the values of the tangent of those angles. You should understand why those values must be what they are.